Hey guys, welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Look what I found. One of those little power bolts. Let's make our way up there. Now, I'm not sure why everything is this dark. I don't remember it looking like this. <clears throat> Excuse me, still a little sick. Don't remember it looking like this uh, last time I was playing. But... I guess if it does, there's not much I can do about it. And luckily it doesn't really interfere with playing, so I'm gonna roll with it. If it screws up everything terribly badly, then I can just uh, restart right here. And you won't know any better. Oh, almost had it. So what do I have to talk about? I saw Lucy today, the movie. Decent, but honestly much less good than I had hoped. They took what I thought was a fun and interesting, if horrendously scientifically inaccurate premise, and cocked it up. So that's that, I guess. A shame, but there are other movies, right? Ones that actually make sense. Alright. Cool. So last time we had only put this one in. This time we've put both in. I'm guessing something's gonna happen. And I may have guessed wrong. Hmm. Well, Alita's back up there, so we can see if she's doing anything, I guess. But... I'm back at the part of the game that I haven't played. I finally got past, uh... Where I had recorded up to. Just in time for me to get sick, but still. So now I, act I, I actually have to figure things out. Which is a shame and a challenge. All right, let me see. I've got a bird's eye view from up here. I put a power energy ball in there and one in there. It doesn't really look like there's another way up. I'm going to look at these again. Like I was saying, though, I am still tad sick. So my voice may not come through clearly at all, which would just be a shame. And I'll have to restart. That is a button. Didn't notice that. I have to re-record the episode if, if my voice is horrible. Okay, button pressed. There's probably a button on the other one. I'm just talking absolute nonsense. Wow, there was like a half-finished thought there, I think. It's kind of late. Please forgive me. I'm tired. I've got too much homework to do. I'm a poor college student. Or uni, if you're European. Okay, now this is something that I've noticed, but I just prefer European terms for things. I love the metric system. I hate the imperial system. Uni sounds better than college to me. I don't know why. Is that a normal thing? Do people agree with me? Do people hate that? Am I making enemies? Am I stuck on a puzzle and wandering around in a valley? Multiple questions with the answer yes. Seriously, though, I have no idea what I'm doing. So there was a button on that structure which I've pressed. There was not a button on the other one. There's nothing going on with this giant ring here. Even though it looks like it should be a portal. I don't know. It doesn't really look like I can get on those, uh... Whatchamacallits. Press that. So back up we go, I guess. 
And hope? We're five minutes in, so if I'm fucking this up too badly, I will be upset. Yeah, this... This is a game that has a lot of empty space, I've noticed. It's just sort of hitting me right now how big it all is, even though, uh... It doesn't really have to be, except for the sense of scale. So I think I've established I don't know what I'm doing. Definitely can't get on top of that. Not a point to getting on top of this. Anymore. And it doesn't look like I can jump over that. Not gonna stop me from trying, but it doesn't look like I can. No, I can't. Yeah, definitely not. That's an invisible wall. I see what you're doing, game. You can't pull wool over my eyes. I mean, maybe you could, but that would be impressive, because my eyes aren't in the game. Or computer, even. I'm a real living human flesh being. And you are just electricity. Arranged in a particularly entertaining way. Holy shit, I've never thought of a game like that before, but that is actually a true fact. That's not pressable anymore. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's actually five buttons. Hmm. Okay. All right. I did a thing. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. And it's spinning and there's a transmission beam from where Alita is. So now I guess I go way back up. I go way back up there. Yeah, exactly. I speak English, good. Oh, jeez. All right. I mean, that's kind of exactly what I expected, but also not at all what I expected. Well, time to ride across the magic walkway ourselves. Oh, we actually have to walk across it, though. She gets to fly. I'm upset. I wanted to fly. Also, this sounds like a particularly upset cow. Kind of weird. Or whale train hybrid, I suppose. God, that would be a pain to take care of. What do you feed it? Fish or coal? Real life problems. And you're just gonna sit here again. Uh, with your legs clipping through the floor? No, just kind of folded weird. Okay. That's one puzzle down. Neat. I guess we take this path. And that's just still. Whoa! Alright, that's getting fancier and fancier. That glowing ring around it is new, at least. Hmm. Well, 
looks like we're gonna have another warping thing. I know what I'm doing now. I thought I knew what I was doing. But besides my total inability to aim, the pattern was also wrong. Whoa, okay, parts coming out of the ground. Jesus. Well, they're not doing much. I mean, I'd stick around for what I'm sure is a uh, fascinating cinematic if anything was happening. Looks like I'm actually supposed to be going up there. And not the way I was. Oops. I figured out, by the way, uh, how to avoid having to skip weeks if I get sick. I mean, really, since I'm only uploading 45 minutes a week if I record, like, an hour, 45 minutes of each game a week, then I'm set. Problem is, I'm not sure that now is really the right time to do that, being sick and all. What the hell's all this? Can't push it. Yes, I can. What am I talking about? This is kind of weird, though. Hmm. So I'm moving these rocks around for no apparent reason. Okay, this little, this one is longer than the others, so I'm guessing that it has to stay in the middle. Whereas this one is one of the shorter three, and so we'll probably, if I can aim correctly and am something resembling patient, which I'm not, we'll probably fit in here. And look at that, it does. Amazing. And so I can move this. Um, okay. I don't know if that was actually productive. Not quite. Okay, so I guess these represent those. And I need to move it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Not fully recovered. Yeah, that definitely moved those apart. I need to get past this rock, though, and don't have a great way to do that. Because it's not going to fit in any of these. Hmm. Hmm. 
So this is the one that moves around. This... I need to get out of the way. This one doesn't move. I don't think this moves. No. I have no fucking clue then. Let's see. I can move that forward. And then take this out behind it. Okay. Then move this back. It's a pretty cool mechanic, I'll admit that. Not exactly new, but fun. That is how we do this. Once again, magic walkway. To over there. I don't know why the hell they didn't just build bridges, but... I guess I can respect them for making something that is certainly pretty awesome. Just realized that I have multiple jump boosts. Not sure why. But... Seems that right now, we have passed 15 minutes. In fact, we're about to pass 18 minutes. So, I feel like I should wrap up. And see you guys in the next episode of Lifeless Planet, where we'll have more magic wonders of space, I guess. Do things and see what happens. So, tune in next time for another episode of Lifeless Planet.